today I wanted to talk about shoes to wear on the trail. I know that this is, oh, and <laughs> I have a little kitty in my lap, so this is beefcake. So uh, it, <laughs> he might be a little distracting, but he wanted to be on my lap, so. Today I want to talk about shoes on the trail. I know that people have a wide preference of footwear. There's people that wear sandals on the trail. There's people that wear really, really minimal footwear like Vibrams and stuff like that. And then there's people that wear really, really heavy duty boots all the time. Uh, doesn't matter what kind of trail. So it definitely, there's definitely a preference thing and you have to find out what works for you. I wanted to share with you some options and show you things that are out there um, just in case you are looking, you are new to hiking, I mean, you don't quite know what's out there. I know there's like a huge variety of shoes and even if you're just looking for hiking boots, there's like 50 different types of hiking boots and waterproof and Gore-Tex and like it gets really overwhelming, honestly, <laughs> even for me if I'm looking at the REI website and whatnot. Um, it's kind of overwhelming. So I want to share some options with you and share some experiences of uh, what I've worn and stuff like that. So uh, here we go. So the first thing I wanted to start with is just a tennis shoe. I know a lot of people aren't crazy about hiking like I am. Um, they're not going to go out to REI and buy every single thing of gear um, because they're like, oh my god, I'm so excited, I need this piece of gear, um, like me. <laughs> uh, there's people that just do hikes a couple times a year and they don't want to go out and buy boots necessarily for that. So, and this is how I started hiking, honestly, I just hiked um, for I would say a good year and a half in just Nike shoes, um, tennis shoes. These are just, you know, Nike running shoes, super lightweight, um, flexible, decent tread. Um, obviously they're not waterproof, they're like mesh. So the ones that I started hiking in are, were very similar to this. Um, and they honestly they lasted a really long time they I think I hiked over almost 400 miles in my Nike shoes um, of you know decently rugged trails in Oregon so um, you know stuff like this can work for you um, especially if you're not hiking in like super wet conditions or super like bouldery rocky type things um, a shoe like this can definitely work if you already have something like this because you go to the gym or something like that and you aren't sure if you're gonna be a avid hiker then maybe this is something to start with and um, you know you can try out hiking and do a couple of trails with your Nikes it's honestly it's totally gonna work for you now when I first started hiking, like I said, I was hiking in my Nikes. Um, I was totally, you know, I liked that airy feel around my foot because they were mesh, they weren't um, waterproof, so they weren't super like constricting and sweaty on my foot and for some reason I just like was really claustrophobic and <laughs> didn't want that feeling on my foot. Um, so in the summer I would actually hike in my Birkenstock sandals. I mean, they're really not made for hiking, so I would hike in something like this, which most people probably wouldn't, especially because it has this toe thing. You know, rocks can get in your under, rocks would get underneath my foot, and then I'd have to take the shoe off and like get the rock out. So it can be really annoying, but if you're hiking on like a really dusty trail, something like this is awesome because then you don't have to worry about dust getting in your shoe and stuff like that. And you know, it's super simple, but honestly, it, Birkenstock's probably not the best for hiking. I just wanted to share that story with you. Um, like I said, unless you're hiking in like a super dusty environment, um, probably not going to recommend the Birkenstocks. However, my friend does 
like hiking in her Chaco sandals. So Chacos are these. Um, they're like a super heavy duty rubber sole and then they have these a strap that's like one strap and it's like woven so you only tighten it up here. The cool thing with these is if you're hiking, now they're really heavy so it, I mean this thing weighs like a pound and a half just by itself, <laughs> one shoe. Um, granted this is a men's sandal but still it's really heavy but the cool thing about cool thing about these is um, if you're hiking like a canyon trail where you're hiking in a little bit of water or something like that these are perfect you're not gonna get your boots wet you're not gonna get blisters you're not gonna um, have to take your shoes off and hike barefoot in the rocks um, in the creek or something like that so these are really awesome for canyon hiking especially like Utah or something like that if you're um, but even like in the Columbia Gorge there's canyon trails where you have to hike in the water and I highly recommend something like this for hikes like that next I wanted to talk about the like mid-range hiking shoe so if you're not wanting to go full full-on boot hiking boot which I was like totally against for the first I would say two years yeah first two years of like fully like avid hiking I was like no I don't want a boot I hate boots um, so there are like mid-range hiking shoes which are great my personal favorite is this Merrill here um, so it looks kind of like a I don't know it almost looks like a skater slash running shoe type of thing has this awesome uh, grippy sole and these ones are actually waterproof um, they have like a Gore-Tex they have a Gore-Tex um, cover here and um, these are pretty awesome they're fairly lightweight and um, yeah I love these especially for summer hiking these are really great um, you know fall spring hiking I don't know if you just if you prefer something that's not a full boot and if you don't need that ankle support I highly recommend something like this this is really great um, now the men's version I can show you there's a couple of um, men's Merrill's so these are really worn out but this is more of like a almost like a trail runner type shoe um, this is very you know you can see there's mesh here so it's very very lightweight this is not going to be waterproof um, but it also doesn't last as long due to the mesh and stuff it will break down faster and you know if you wear this hiking like you can see here it's ripped and stuff like that so these don't last as long um, but they're also not as expensive as like full-on leather hiking boots um, but these are really really great similar style these are also Merrell's um, and these are going to be a little more waterproof they have leather on them um, is something like this so this is a little heavier, a little more heavy duty than this shoe here, for example. But also still not like a full on hiking boot. And then if you want to go full on hiking boot, they are going to be more expensive. They are going to be more waterproof, um, especially a leather boot. Um, and if you treat the leather right and stuff, you know, it can last you 10 plus years, honestly. Um, I have some Merrill boots that I have worn for a long time. And they're just now starting to, like, the leather starting to not be waterproof anymore. But the shoe itself, like, I can still wear it in the summer and when it's not raining for years and years. Um, but recently I purchased these Anus and... Um, they are waterproof. So this is a full-on hiking boot. You know, you got the ankle support, you got the full leather, you got the waterproof. Um, I mean, these are really great. And I have some Merrill ones that are similar to this. 
and um, honestly they are really lightweight. I always thought the hiking boots would be clunky and heavy and like you know clunk around and I wouldn't be able to walk fast and stuff like that but nowadays they have made these boots they have made boots so lightweight like I can't believe how lightweight this hiking boot is and they're not clunky at all like I don't even I honestly now prefer boots because of the ankle support I get that extra um, support and I know like I'm not gonna twist my ankle I'm not gonna like bump my ankle on sticks and rocks and like it's very protective and it's funny because once I switched from you know I went from this to this and then to like a, sh a big shoe it's funny I could never go back to something like this I would feel so exposed and so just like naked it, I don't know I would feel weird um, but you know it's all preference and honestly um, ever since my plantar fasciitis um, battle with my foot um, I feel like I need the support of a boot so if you have any sort of like foot problems or ankle issues or anything like that I highly recommend the the boot I would go with the boot and as far as like your foot being sweaty or anything like that in the summer honestly I don't notice that anymore and if you are like long distance hiking or something like that and you're worried about blisters because there's not enough like airflow um, just make sure to take your boots off every once in a while you know throughout the day like when you're taking breaks and just air out your foot and that kind of thing um, and you won't have an issue I know that a lot of long distance hikers do prefer a trail runner type shoe um, just because of you know the weight aspect you are hiking long miles day after day after day um, but again they don't last as long you know most PCT through hikers go through like five six pairs of uh, trail runner shoes whereas like you could probably wear one pair of boots and eh, maybe two <laughs> um, but still you're not gonna have to buy six of them so again this can work totally I'm not saying that you know go out and buy a three hundred dollar pair of boots um, especially if you're just now getting into hiking and figuring out if you really like it just wear some sneakers see if you like hiking and then maybe graduate to something you know a little less expensive I think these were like seventy dollars um, you know and these will totally do especially if you're just a fair weather hiker you're not hiking through streams or creek crossings or hiking in torrential downpour or if you're not snowshoeing that kind of thing these will last you for years so yeah I hope that helped you a little bit get an idea of um, what is out there as far as shoes I mean I know I don't have like a huge variety to show you but um, from what I showed I hope that you can um, get a better idea of what you might need and let me know if you have any questions honestly I'm not like a huge shoe expert um, I know what has worked for me and I know I've tried quite a few things just let me know if you have any questions and I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you next time. Okay, bye.